Hello, my name is Gen Paparisto and I'm the product manager for RF system products at the AWR group of, AW, of uh, National Instruments. And today I'll uh, cover a little bit the AWR tools that uh, uh, there are tools in that, that allow us to, to do circuit design, uh, EM simulations, system simulations. And uh, I have here a, a pretty cool prototype that we put together. It is a um, a radar prototyping device, a radar board and some antennas, and everything was really done in, within our environment. Uh, we used the, uh, the 3EM uh, modeling tools in, in uh, AWR to design this little antenna, uh, the antenna elements, the, these are Vivaldi antennas. We used Microwave Office to design this radar board and then we used VSS to actually design all the radar functionality and this is a, an FMCW radar that can be used for prototyping automotive type uh, radars. So, um, so what's cool about this is uh, this started as, a, um, uh, as a, a duplicate of the MIT coffee can radar which was done all with discrete components and we decided that we'd probably try and use our tools and and simplify it and use all these commercial off-the-shelf components, make it a lot smaller, run off a battery, and, uh, and also uh, we brought the bill of materials from about $300 to, to about $50 for, for everything. But what was, other, uh, uh, what was cool also was that we used our environment and uh, we, uh, here we show us how we designed the, the antenna, the Vivaldi antennas, uh, we looked at the radar board, everything was done, uh, as I mentioned, in, in microwave office. And then when we uh, look at the overall system, here we're comparing the, the existing uh, coffee can radar with, with the new redesign that, uh, that is, as I said, it is really done with commercial off-the-shelf components. Uh, we, we did a lot of budget measurements, we did uh, time domain measurements, uh, we looked at at various cascaded measurements. The, the green ones are the, the, new, uh, the new system, the blue ones are, are the existing ones, and we saw that we got some, some gain in terms of the overall uh, 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 gain of the device, which means that we'd be able to uh, get a little better, like a, a few, uh, uh, to be able to detect smaller objects or objects that are a little further, further away. So in the end, when we did, the, you know, when we ran our simulations, uh, what we noticed is that our uh, our system is really able to to nail down the target system the same way as the as the old one because actually it is simpler to to detect the target uh, target distance. But these uh, systems are a little more susceptible to velocity, especially at the 2.5 uh, 2.45 gigahertz uh, uh, frequencies. So what we really see is that our our system, the green one, starts converging a lot faster and it will allow you to run a little, uh, a little better. So overall, what I, uh, you know, the, the message I want to convey was that it, this was a real cool prototype that was all built within our environment and it can be a real good thing for, for universities or, or people that want to play with it. So if you have any other questions, I would you know, invite you to check our, our website, awr.com, and learn about AWR and other NI products. Thank you.